Yes, lads, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I've got episode three of the Adventures Career Mode. We're going to do about 10 games in today's episode and hopefully move our way swiftly into a brighter future because we're struggling at the moment. As we see the league table before we start, we're in fourth place, which doesn't sound too bad for Juventus in real life. We're on 11 points from six games. Not the best, and we need to improve where we've got a game to start off with against Atalanta. So, for this game against Atalanta, we start off with the team with Chesney starting as a starting goalkeeper. I've said starting way too many times. Right back, Quadrado, two centre backs, Bonucci is the captain, and Bremer. Fonso Davis is a left back, the new signing from Bayern Munich in the last episode. Three centre mids, Paredes, McKenney, and Pogba. Then, left mid, we have Philip Kostic, who needs to improve a little bit to stay in the team because he's struggling. Then, Chiesa and Vlahovic, who's also been a little bit off it as Moise Keane scored the same amount of goals in about four times as little minutes. So yeah, let's uh, try and get into this game and beat Atalanta. Come on Juventus. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. So we're looking at the stadium, the Allianz Stadium. It's a, it's a weird little ground, isn't it? It's like a box. I don't know if it's real. I think it is, but weird, weird stadium. But um, we're going to this game against Atalanta. We need a win. We really do. Forza Juve. Come on, let's go. So we get the kickoff. Kicking from left to right. Alfonso Davies on the ball straight from kickoff. Breeze has passed Muriel very, very easily. No one's actually closing Davies straight from kickoff. Can we get a little chance out of this? Davies, the outside of the foot. It's a great save by the goalkeeper. Is it Musso? I mean, that's a good start from Davies. Very, very unfortunate to score straight from kickoff. Sprinting through. Great ball towards Federico Chiesa. Chipping towards Vlahovic. Can we make it 1-0? Yes, we can. That's an excellent finish. Dusan Vlahovic with his fourth goal of the season. That's more like it. I like the Jamie Vardy celebration as well. Nice little dink inside. 1-0 Juventus. Let's keep this up. Kostic looking for the 1-2. Between his man. Vlahovic. And he can't quite find the ball. Oh, Kostic tackles the ball. It's a great chance. It's 2-0. The Serbian superstars link up. And Philip Kostic makes it 2-0 to Juventus. 2-0 inside the first eight minutes. This could be a batter in this good. Nice bit of skill, Chiesa. Vlahovic is looking for the return run. Federico Chiesa inside. It's a good run from Juventus. Can we make it 3-0? Yes, we can. What a brilliant goal by Federico Chiesa. That's his second of the game? No, no, it's not. It's his second contribution of the game. What a run that was. We're 3-0 up against Atalanta in 24 minutes. Excellent football again. Outside of the foot. Easy as you like. Look at that. 3-0. Right, McKenney looking for the switch towards Pogba. <laughs> nice skill from Pogba. Can he make it 4-0 four? Four in 30 minutes? Atalanta do, know, do, know, do not know what's hit them. Wow, your English is very good. What a goal that is. Nice bit of skill, intricate bit of play. This is ultimate difficulty, it's easiest. And we do indeed lead at the Allianz Stadium, 4-0 at half-time. This is becoming an easy game. Pogba on the attack now, looking for a run. He's actually going to go himself here. Pogba with a brilliant effort on goal, it's off the post. So unlucky there, Paul lost Pogba. Oh, sugar, Atlanta on the attack. Pass out one-on-one -on -one with Chesney. Dinks it beautifully. That's the clean sheet gone. Poor, that is. Why is he celebrating? Paredes now. Escape with the ball. McKenny through the middle. Brilliant run by Weston McKenny. Can he make it? 5-1. What a finish, Weston McKenny. That is the goal we needed. That is good shooting for an American. Tell me. He didn't just say that. Vlahovic looking for the through ball. Paredes is through. The unsung hero of the game today. Paredes, can he make it? Six. Yes, he can. Six, one to Juventus. And this is a statement victory, this. Absolutely tremendous goal that is from Paredes. Outside of the boot. Nine times out of ten that goes in. Six, one Juventus. Brilliant result. Absolutely tremendous. I mean, shot-wise, we did have a few good chances, but, you know, we, we made the most of ours. We deserved to win. Player ratings as well. I mean, Chesney had a decent game. Two saves, but they were good saves. Sportiello was poor for them. Paredes got a goal. McKenney got a goal. So did Pogba. He's had a poor game, though, Pogba. 
Chiesa with the man of the match. Could have gone to Vlahovic, to be fair. I think they were both very good. And Kostic redeeming a poor few games for the big Serb. So, yeah, great result. And we'll go on to some more games. So, our next game of the episode, we've got Roma. I mean, this is going to be a very difficult game. Against AFC Roma. They've got some good players. I mean, w w the game didn't show us the teams again, so we'll show you them. Again, obviously our keepers, Chesney, we've got the back four of Danilo, Bonucci, Bremer and Davies. Midfield three, we've got Locatelli, Malinovsky and Rabio. Then the forward line of Angel Di Maria, Dusan Vlahovic and Chiesa. So it's a very, very strong team and we'll see Romas as well. Patricio starts there, number one. They've got the back three this time of Kumbulla, Mancini, the captain and Chris Smalling. Right mid, cars drop, two centre mids, Cristante and Pellegrini. With Spinozola on the left and the front three of Zaniolo, Dybala and Tammy Abraham. It's a fantastic Roma team. Let's get into this game. Come on, Juventus. Right, Vlahovic has got the ball. They're giving him plenty of time here. Vlahovic with a chance. It's a great save. Good challenge, Benucci. Thought I would ball then. We'll have to see, we'll have to see replay. Yeah, he, he may have got the man there. Yeah, look at that. I'd be clapping that. Well done, Benucci. Good bit of play there. Oh, dear. Keeper, great save. Great save, Chesney. Rabio's got it now. Looking for the run of Malinovsky. He's got a bit of space here to open fire. He's got a great chance to make it 1-0. Ruslan Malinovsky. Did you see that? Cuts past two men then. You should really read him. Chris Smallin. Nowhere near him. That is an excellent finish. Look what it means to him. 1-0 Juventus. Come on, boys. Malinovsky with the all-important goal to put us 1-0 up into the first half at the Stadio Olimpico. We need a better second half, though. Come on, Juventus. Dave is so unlucky there not to win the ball back. You want some chance. chicken, lad? Oh, that's brilliant play. Absolutely fantastic. He sat Benucci down. Good passing towards Tammy. And um, straight from kickoff, Roma score. Said I want a better second half, not that. Wants a quick one-two there. Davies, very nice player from Alfonso Davies. Outside pass. McKenney's free. What a save by Patricio. They had such a deep line then and we were so unlucky not to do anything with that. Kostic with delivery though. Not a great whip. McKenney loses out. Malinovsky to... What a save again. Inside pass towards Malinovsky now. Malinovsky with a chance. He makes it 2-1. He's gone straight through Patricio. Oh, that is so fortunate. I'm literally counting my lucky stars. That'll be his final addition to this game as well. Patricio should be saving that, but he didn't, obviously. I'm Captain Obvious. He does. He gets past Smalling, gets past Kumbala on the week four. Dusan Vlahovic. What a save by Patricio again. 2 1 against Roma. What a difficult game of football. Fantastic game for the neutral, of course. And if you're a Juventus fan. Let's see these player ratings. So again, on the balance of play, we deserved it. 18 shots to 6 and 3.5 seconds to cost 1.9. Chesney made a few good saves, don't get me wrong, but Patricio were fantastic. Chesney made 4 saves, as you can see. Still got 6.7, but Patricio made 11 saves. Look at them as well. They're like all dotted around. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Still, though, who gets the man of the match for us? Alfonso Davies. Very, very good performance for me again. He's been our best player since he's come in. Very, very good indeed. We'll move on into some simulated games and hopefully get a few more wins. One minute, 37 seconds later. To start off with, we get a 3-1 victory over FC Botosani. I think they're Romanian, something like that. Locatelli opened the scoring. Then they missed a penalty just before half-time. McKenny scored to make it two. Roman Junior scored in the 70th and then Chiesa scored in the 87th. Why the man of the match actually went to Federico Chiesa with a 9 rating. Followed by McKenna with an 8.9 and the other goal scorer, Locatelli, with an 8.3. Let's sim the derby against Torino. Due to a few big games coming up in the league and Champions League, we've had to rest a few players. And we actually get a disappointing 2-2 draw in the Turin derby with Torino. Vlas Vlas up as a scorer in the former West Ham man before half-time. Keane scored in the 49th minute, followed by Rabio in the 77th. And seven minutes before time, Gigi, have you pronounced his name, the centre-back. Made it 2-2. And um, disappointing result with Keane and GDGD sharing the uh, man of the match. But yeah, disappointing result to go into the Milan game 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. So we are indeed into the next game of this episode. A very, very difficult tie away from home at the San Siro. AC by the opponents and it's going to be an absolutely tremendously difficult game of football. So the teams before we kick off, obviously Chesney starts in goal, back four of Quadrado, Bonucci, Bremer and Davies. But I think Bremer's actually a little bit tired to be honest. Locatelli, McKenney and Malinowski is the midfield three. As promised, Malinowski reta retains his place in the squad after a fantastic performance in his last start out. Kostic plays the left mid, Kies was the right mid, then Vlahovic as the big man up top hoping to score. A few more goals. AC's team, though, they start with Mainan in goal. 8-8 rated now. They've got Calabria, Tomori, Kier and Biragi as their back four. Still in the Fiorentina kit, weirdly enough. Midfield two of Tonali and Jorginho with Brahim Diaz in attacking midfield. Juni Messias on the right. Giroud through the middle. And Rafael Leao as the winger. Difficult game, this. The Serie A MVP last season. We need to be on our top of our game. Come on, Juventus, let's go. Here we go. But McKenny's got it now. Kostic outside of the boot. Kostic, great save by Mainan. Davies bursting through the midfield. Oh, it's a nice pass to find his man. Vlahovic from distance. What a goal. Oh, my God. Do some Vlahovic. How did that find its way into the top corner? Picks it up in this little pocket here in between the midfield and defence. I thought he was going to hit Kier. I just hit it and hope for the best. Does it go through his legs? It's a good goal though, isn't it? Ah, oh. oh, that's fantastic. Oh, here we go. AC Milan attacking now. They've got a load of big players in the middle. That is sensational. You know what? I, I, I didn't see a foul there. Mm -mm. Tonali with a free kick. Lines it up. That is tremendous. Oh, my days. How does he hit this? 0.05 chance for an expected goal. Oh, that's tremendous. 1-1. One, one. What is Bremer doing? That is nice football from Milan. That is tremendous football. Rafa Leal finishes off an exceptional move. Oh, he's, oh, he's Gabriel Jesus in us. I'm going to smack him. Ooh, you're hard showing off. Cause... Oh, Liao's got clear. He's got clear again. Rafa Liao towards Giroud. Two goals in four minutes. It's good play. It's good play. I don't know what to say. Well, it's a poor first half. We are 3-1 down to Milan now. Got a mountain to climb in this second half. Right, nice. Good whipping. Kostic. Don't, don't do this to us. No, don't make it four. Good save by Chesney, but they've still got the ball. This is ridiculous. What can I do? It's 4-1 to Milan. I'm furious. Absolutely furious. Right, found a bit of room here. We get past Simon Kier. Can we make it 4-2? Yes, we can. Get the ball. Pick that ball up, you idiot. Nope. Okay. Don't pick the ball up. Don't pick it up. We're not in a rush to... We're retaining the ball nice, but we're not actually doing anything with it. Moise well, Keane. That's an excellent goal. Now nah, we're back in this. We're back in this. Come on. Let's G up the boys. That's a great finish. Tremendous goal. I mean, he had no chance of scoring, apparently. Still. 4-3. Come on. Don't give me hope. So we lose 4-3, undeservedly so. Man had a great game. Chesney was absolutely horse manure. Awful. Look at the stats. It just makes me want to cry. <laughs> Four shots to 13 and we lose 4-3. This game's a joke. He's not playing another game. I'm dropping him for like next five. Useless. Make seven saves. Say so, you know, that. That's fair. Mikey makes zero. That's why this game's scripted. I don't know. We do indeed start off with a very significant 3 0 victory against Lee's. Case opens the scoring before half time and then Pogba gets a double in the second. Also takes home a 10 rating. 
So very good return to form in that one. And then we get another important 3-0 victory over Bottasani to basically seal the group stage. At least second place. Man enough to get open the scoring in the 15th minute. Vlahovic scored in the 62nd. Fadgioli got red card in the 64th. And then Di Maria scored in the 70th minute for a fairly conclusive victory. Perrin got an 8.3. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty happy with that. Man enough to get to man at match with a 9.8 as well. Happy days for Juve. Let's move on to the Lazio game. So we go into this next game against Lazio, also known as Latium in FIFA. We're actually two points behind them in the league. We've lost the same amount of games, but they've won one more, giving them the two-point advantage, and we need to win to keep pressure on the top of the league. Inter who already raced into an 11-point lead. Come on, Juve, let's try and win this game. So we're into this game against Nap Napoli. We're into this game against Lazio. And it should be a very difficult occasion at the Stadion Olympique. EA, why do you not have the rights for half the Serie A teams? That puts people off career mode. We're not bothered about the Lazio team for this game. So we see our team as we start with Perrin in goal. The back four of Cruzado, Bonucci, Bremer and Alfonso Davies. Midfield three of Locatelli, McKenney, and Malinowski due to Pogba's poor form. And then Costa on the left, Keister on the right. And then Vlahovic leading the line. You know what, we'll, we'll see their team. We'll have a look. Maximiliano from Granada. They've got Traore, Romagnoli, Radu and Haisaj as the back four. Weird defence. Cataldi is the holding midfielder. Alberto milinkovic savic partnering in the midfield too. With Felipe Anderson, Ser, sorry, Sergio Aguero, <laughs> Ciro Mobile and uh, Mattia Zacagni from Hellas Verona as the front three. Come on, Juve. Very, very difficult opposition here. We need to beat these. I'm Captain Obvious. Right, Immobile is coming for the ball. It's nice. Ball roll through to his man. What the hell am I meant to do with that? That is ridiculous. First shot. Oh, uh, it's obviously in. Come on. So with the whip. Good ball in. Weston McKenney with the header. What a save again. Tremendous goalkeeping that. Davies wins the tackle. Bremer gets the loose ball. It's passed straight to a man though. Lazio, what a save by Perrin. Bremer's been woeful this game so far. This time it's worn. Vlahovic with an effort. It's another good save by the keeper just before half time. Need a good delivery again. Quadrado whip a nice ball in. Good ball towards Weston McKenney. It's an easy catch. Oh, we're so unlucky so far. Few changes. Davis has come on at left mid instead of Kostic as they've swapped around Kostic with a good interception to start the half with. Davis looking for the through ball towards Vlahovic, who beats his man Radu. Can he beat Maximiliano? Yes, he can. Finally, we've scored. Good ball, though, by Alfonso. Found his man, and Vlahovic found the corner. Come on, Juventus. Kostic has got his number, though. Doesn't win the ball. Cut inside. Immobile with a chance. It's off the bar. Jesus, we got lucky there. Oh, we pressed and not won the ball. Shock. Good challenge, Bonucci. We've still got it, though. Malinowski this time. Through the middle towards McKenney. He's got a chance to strike on goal. Weston McKenney in the top corner. What a goal that is. Weston McKenney with a wonderful finish. I mean, it's a brilliant run by McKenney. Malinovsky with the assist as well. But the finish. Ridiculous goal. 2 on Juventus. Can he find him? Yes, he can. Danilo squares it across the box. What a block. Out towards Chiesa to make it 3-1. Federico Chiesa with a brilliant finish. That's fantastic play, that is. Really, really good. Fantastic block. Perrin throws the ball out again. And Lazio just pressing. Bremer's missed. The nah, Bremer, you absolute idiot. What are you? An idiot sandwich. What is he doing? Oh, my God. Davis straight from kickoff. He's tackled, fortunately. From uh, the point of view of Lazio... Keane wins the header. It's off the bar. Can he get the rebound? Moise Keane finally seals the game. We get all the celebrations. That is a fantastic header by Moise Keane. He does the little... Brilliant goal. Absolutely brilliant. 4-2 full-time. We, had, we, had we actually had every player scored at least one goal out of the uh, front three. So I'm, I'm happy to see that, to be fair. The stats don't lie. We dominated 4.2 expected goal to 2.5. 17 shots to 7. What a result. I mean, Casey gets man of the match with a 9 rate. And I'd, I'd argue Davies was better in the second half. He was fantastic. Keane gets a better rating than Vlahovic. Shock. And uh, McKenney does a job in the middle. I mean, Perry made a couple of good saves, to be honest. He made three good saves. 
But the Lazio keeper with a very, very good game. To say they lost, high side's got an 8.8 .8 as well. Still, excellent result. And we'll move on into the final game, which is a simulated affair. We do indeed get a 2-0 victory. Chiesa opens the scoring in the 29th. Then Pogba scores 40 minutes from time to make a comprehensive 2-0 victory against Spa, where Davies gets the man of the match. So maybe got two assists. Let's see that league table. So after a couple of wins in this episode, we actually are now at nine points in the Champions League after four games. Three wins, zero draws, one loss. Pretty much catching PSG now, who actually drew against Benfica. Yeah, they did. They drew 2-2 two -two against Benfica. After two back-to-back -back wins, we're now third in Syria. Uh, five points behind both Milan sides, but Inter Milan have got a game in hand. But we're still sitting third place, four points above Roma and Lazio. And then, I mean, we're, we're well clear of Napoli to see the European place seven points above them as well. The top scorer remains Letaro Martinez in the league with 13 goals in 12 matches. Slow down a little bit, but still a good season. Leao's also got 13 goals since he's got 10 from left wing back. Caprari's got nine for Monza. Our top scorer is not even in the top 15. Chiesa and Keane both have six, and so does Vlahovic as well. So these have been shared out a little bit. Top assist-wise, Chiesa is actually leading with seven, as well as Vlahovic, who's got six. Davies has got five. And Locatelli has got three. Clean sheet wise, Chesney is on two in ten, but Perrine is on two in three. So I think Perrine might have sealed that starting spot for a few more games at least. Now on into the next episode, we've got a home game to start off with against PSG in the Champions League. We need a win there to top our group. An away game will then follow against Udinese. That's a difficult game away from home. Then we'll have back-to-back uh, -back Sims against Sampdoria, Benfica, and even against Bologna, to be fair. That's three Sims. In a row right there. Then we have a, a game to play against Hellas Verona. Potentially a sim against Salneritana. And then we start January. We're going to sign one new player. Just one. And um, yeah. That's all we've got to look forward to the next episode guys. So I really appreciate you watching the Juventus career mode. Episode 3. Now catch you in a video on the channel very very soon. Cheers.